I had this question. We are currently using event properties for a lot of our events. So we were figuring about using user properties instead for some things which are specific to users. One of the problem statements which we wanted to solve by doing this is that say maybe a user purchased something. We generally monitor that that after they purchase, they triggered an event. And during that event, we send a property that says that, okay, now that con user converted to a paid user. So now if we move this to a user property, can we also monitor cases where they don't trigger any future events? For example, if there are users that purchased and they canceled soon after. So in that case, if we just update the user property without the user triggering another event, will we still be able to get the number of users with non-paid users or paid users, that kind of a split from user properties? Once you set a user property, which is basically this, right? Uh, the plan type here is set to free. What it does is it populates a value on the user profile, which you can then mm -hmm. use to segment data, saying, give me all the users who have a current profile value of X, which you would do in audiences. I would say something like user attributes. My user property during any time, and I could say most recently, right? So this is basically how we isolate users who are currently on a free plan, right? We build a cohort where we say show the current value for plan type is free or whatever. The second thing that user properties actually do is they contextualize any event coming in as of that point with the value of that user property. So imagine that if I say my current plan is free, I set the user property plan to value free and then I trigger an event, event A, even though you didn't send the context or a user property what my plan type was, it will automatically be appended to the event because what happens is the event travels to the Amplitude server. They look up, hey, who is this user and what are the user properties for this user and the values? They append it and then it's stored and made available in your report. Now that we know that, so probably there's something that we can do. We can, one, figure out, like, show me all the users who have done an action, A or B, when their plan type was paid or free, because we can isolate it at the event level. Or we can say, show me all of the users who currently have a value which is set to paid and show me all of the events that they have done. The tricky bit, I think, is figuring out all of the people who are on some value and haven't done anything else after, because it means that they haven't been recorded by Amplitude. It's the absence of an event. And what Amplitude always does is it records events in order to be able to show users in the dashboards. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you so much.